We begin our newscast tonight with your 17 Court Watch and the latest in the trial of a local bakery owner who was sued for refusing to bake a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. Back in 2017, as you might recall, Eileen and Maria Rodriguez Del Rio visited Tastry's Bakery to sample wedding cakes there. Owner Kathy Miller referred them to another bakery, citing her fundamental Christian principles and her refusal to condone same-sex marriage. The Department of Fair Employment and Housing in Sacramento is suing Tastry's Bakery under the Unruh Civil Rights Act, which guarantees equal services to patrons of business establishments regardless of their sexual orientation. Today we heard from Melinda Massey, a former Tastry's employee. She said Miller creates birthday cakes, graduation cakes, and cakes to celebrate other occasions for those in the LGBTQ community, just not wedding cakes. Asked about the importance of faith to Miller, Massey said, quote, it's her life. She loves Jesus. 17 court reporter Jason Katowski joining us now in studio. Jason, what kind of punishment does Kathy Miller face if the judge finds her guilty on this charge? If the judge rules against Kathy Miller, uh, what the Department of Fair Employment and Housing is asking is that she be forced to comply with the Unruh Act. Now, she would have several options on how to do this. One, mm -hmm. she could start making cakes for same-sex couples. She could delegate uh, that duty to another employee, or she could stop making wedding cakes altogether. This is all about wedding cakes. So if, she's, if she removes wedding cakes from her menu and she's not discriminating against anyone, she can continue her business. But the wedding cakes are her primary source of business. What, what her attorneys have said is that they bring in roughly 25% revenue. So without that revenue, she would no longer be able to operate and tastries would close. Hmm. Now, Jason, what is the possibility that this case can actually head to the Supreme Court? That remains to be seen as we may be getting a little ahead of ourselves here, but no matter what happens with this decision, it's going to be appealed. Um, an interesting point is that the Supreme Court in 2018 heard a very similar case involving a Colorado baker and ruled in favor of the baker because it found that a civil rights commissioner acted with anti-religious bias. But it left open the question of whether a business can deny um, uh, goods to a same-sex couple based on the owner's beliefs. And is this a First Amendment case then? This is partly that too. One thing that has been brought up and one thing that uh, uh, Judge David Lampe previously ruled on, he's since retired, there's another judge, Eric Brad Bradshaw, hearing mm -hmm. the case, mm -hmm. but Lampe previously ruled for Miller, finding that the creation of the cake was, a, a wedding cake, is a work of art. It's artistic expression Freedom and is therefore speech. protected. Right. Yes, you can't force someone to create hmm. a work of art against their will. That was basically his argument, is that it's protected expression. All right, 17 News court reporter Jason Katowski, thank you so much, Jason, for being here with us. We really do appreciate that. Thank you. Cool. Thanks.